SQ20 um, basically merges, you know, um, both the analog and the digital. And I, I believe, like us as an imaging company, this is very, very important to us. That we're not just an imaging company that advocates digital photography, but also at the same time, you know, we also advocate the value of print, the bank, and stacks nowadays that we have. You really, you know, get to have like a a print, something you can hold on to something that's very tangible and real. So, you know, given that the Instax gives you something tangible or something real, we have expanded our product range. So, have the Instax Mini that you can use, like, it's a great communication tool. You have like, the Instax Wide, perfect for events, for group shots, you know, when you're out with friends. And then, we recently introduced. <laughs> We recently introduced the square format, the Instax square. So, ito naman, this one, you know, this one gives you like more avenues for self-expression. Like, it pushes your creativity. Very nice So now we are very pleased to introduce to you a new hybrid camera. Again, hybrid because you know it, it marries both analog and and um, digital. Um, it still has that. It's, Extant, tangible, real, and easy feel, but it adds to that, you know, creativity and um, a new experience in shooting the dance stats. Next. So, there, yeah, we are very proud to introduce to you the new uh, Instax SD20. So, let's talk first about the, the design. Of course, you have like the center ring, which uh, it has a symmetrical shape with a dual shutter system, and now it comes in two beautiful colors the matte black and the beige. And then, um, as you can see, the, the, the lens frame design is like a panel ripple of water, and it adds also to the improvement in the grip of the camera. Alright, let's just talk about quickly about the parts of the SQ20. So, in the, so in the front, so you have like the, of course the flash, the shutter button, the lens frame, and then the selfie mirror, the zoom ring. On the side, you have on the side you have where you put your SD card, um, your charging port. And of course, at the back you have the screen, you have the dials. So Dito, Dito, this is where you know mostly explore the SD card. All right, how to load the film? Nata ba na load the film? Everyone got it na? So you just gently open it, and then uh, there's a like a yellow mark on the camera and the yellow mark on the film. So we just put insert the film into the cartridge and then close it gently and then it will automatically um, eject the, the the cover of the film. So everybody got that one? Okay. Alright, next please. So back dial. So this one, this is a very important part of the SP20. So this Mostly where you're gonna do the, your, you know, your editing and your, your photo taking. So this is your um, motion and um, photo dial, and then this is where your filter, your filters. This is where you know mostly you're gonna edit your photos, filters, vignettes, um, print button, back button, and playback button. Then of course the screen just basically shows you um, different information like your battery life, how many prints you have, the time, etc. And if you want to check your battery life, you just have to press this back button here. So it gives you either full, mid, or low. So the, bat the battery of the <laughs> SQ20 can you know, print up to approximately about 100 prints. So you have, you know, you have plenty of options for your, before you even print. And of course, just very very basic operation. When you shoot a movie, you lever it up, you lever up to get that, this part. This is your movie mode. And then when you shoot a still photo, you just put it here on the other side. That's, that's very basic. And then you use the shutter buttons in front to shoot either a movie or a photo. And then of course, if you're already happy with your footage or your image, you can review, right? But this is what's good about the SD20, right? You 
don't just like print the like web You can review actually your images and actually edit them. So there's a playback button here. So you can review your photos and your images. Next. So what are the new features of uh, SDPT? So first, frame grab. So this is so very, very exciting, especially for me. Because with the previous um, Insta scanner, it's pretty difficult when you shoot motion. Where now, it allows you to shoot up to like 15 seconds of, of video, and then you choose like the best frame before you print it. So, you can of course go first to the video mode, and then you're good to go. You're, good to, um, you're, you're all set to shoot like motion up to 15 seconds. And for all you tech guys out there, you can record up to 15 seconds at 800 by 800 dots, and it shoots 15 frames per second. Right. Next. So it's this one also, this is, you know, um, I really like this feature also. So it, we, we call it the time shift collage. So the camera actually para records um, different images in one time. So this one, this is a photo mode. So you put the mode to the photo mode. You, go, you press menu. Everyone can follow. Then go to shooting mode and then time shift collage. And then you wait for the camera to actually record like four different images. And you can actually like move it around if you want like different um, images. And then when you're happy with the four images displayed on screen, you can press the shutter and then you can print them. Wow. The next. And then this one also, this one naman is available uh, this is a new filter for motion. So it creates a very dreamlike. Sorry, you should better. So very dreamlike yung yung feel. My little trippy na feel. So if you wanna be like artsy, yeah, you can use the sequence filter. Again, this one is in movie mode. Go to movie mode and then press this button. This is the filter button. And then you use this one to choose rotate the command dial to choose the sequence filter. So it records um, uh, a movie na ganito yung film. Then, then you can print an image, something like this. Right? And then another one is yung collage. So this one naman is um, in, in photo mode. So again, you choose photo mode, you go to the menu, shooting mode, and then collage. When you choose collage, it actually gives you different templates. I think about around 18. 70 to 80 templates. Chill out. It gives you different options and then it lets you shoot per box one by one. So you choose the photos that, you know, um, that will you know, be inside the box before you print it. Okay, next. And then this is also the first Instax camera that um, can zoom up up to four times. Um, more than zoom, so you know, you can take like if you think that your photo is too wide and you want to zoom into your subject, you can very well do that with the Instax. Alright, this is this is I think you'll enjoy most. But before when you shoot, you print it and you know it. But what with the Instax S220, you can actually, you know, put different filters on your images or your movies. Um, for still picture and movie shooting, you have a lot of different options. And then, ito, this one for the movie filters, I love this one, yung retro. I suggest you try it later. So, look cool. And then, there's also like a film frame. Really, really cool stuff. And then, next. And then, of course, you know, partial color. You can really actually play with your images before actually printing them. If you like partial color, red, orange, you see like a beautiful object with a really striking color, you can isolate them and, you know, um, choose whichever color you want. Then of course, you can also do vignettes, you can also do brightness. So, around that many possibilities with your images that you can capture with the x Right, next. So, you know, basically, um, very, very straightforward on how you edit your images. Just the three main buttons above. This one is for the vignette, this one is for the um, filters, and this one is for the brightness control. 
done. So I suggest you know you experiment, be adventurous with your photos later on or your videos. And then of course, you know, at the end of the day, fill and then stop. Just don't shoot. You know, just, you don't just save your 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 images or your movies on your SD card. You can actually print them, right? Still gives you that tangible thing, print that you can enjoy. Very straightforward. Again, there's like a print button, and then there you have it. After how many seconds, you have the print already. So there. Um, I really hope you enjoy shooting today with the SQ20. You know, really printing is really fun. Shooting and then printing. And that's what, you know, this little camera, awesome camera can, can get everyone.